la 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 FC UK Fan TV today talking about our new newest signing to the to the team, Peter Lee Vassell. Obviously, we know all about him so far. He got announced yesterday that our MLS Super Draft pick had signed a contract to go through to the, um, the first team this season and hopefully get some minutes throughout the season as well. So, as we all know, it was our MLS Super Draft pick. We sent FC Cincinnati, the newest expansion team to MLS this season, our 16th pick plus $175,000 in general allocated money or in abbreviated terms GAM comes with more experience than your usual college type of soccer player he also comes with a lot of experience in Jamaica play for the Jamaica national team and he comes with a wealth of international experience as well as uh, club level experience as well so he's not one of them players who's come up through college level to play in MLS he's actually got some experience back in Jamaica of playing in the first team and playing in proper men's football so it's probably helped him progress a lot in his development as a player and that can only mean a positive thing for us this season as well. He's obviously played for Harbour View, who play in the Jamaican top division, which is the Jamaican highest tier of Jamaican football, which is good. And he's made 34 appearances last season, bagging, I think that's eight goals as well from mid, no, bagging three goals, sorry, from midfield, which isn't too bad as well. He also offers international experience at under 17 level, under 20 level, under 23, and also has five goals in 2018 in five appearances for the Jamaican senior team. So it shows how good he really is. To get into the Jamaican senior team at a young age, it's just fantastic. After graduating through all of the possible levels, to go and then score goals in the Jamaican national team is fantastic. So what can we expect from uh, Peter Lee Vassal? Obviously, a good passing ability has been well documented. Good pace as well. So he's, a, he's quite a good competitive midfielder who can have plenty of pace, plenty of power, and a good passing range as well. And also has that versatility to play up front, which will help us throughout the course of the season with a lot of maybe some injuries we could pick up along the way. And um, Bob Bradley did say as well, and particularly about signing some players who are ready to play in certain positions where we're struggling during the game to see it out. We can always bring a player on who's ready to play in a position that he might not be accustomed to, but is well trained and well prepared to play in there for about half a game or something like that in terms of trying to see out a shutout win or something like that. Also, has also, as I mentioned, played up front for Jamaica and played up front in Jamaica for his team previous to LAFC as well, which is good, as I said. Also, a most important thing to note is aside from 32-year-old Lee Wynn, all of our midfielders now are under, age, under the age of 25. You look at Mark Anthony K, Horta, uh, play with like Atawesta as well. They're all, they're all under the age of 25. And that's a, such a positive thing in terms of trying to uh, long-term develop this club and trying to really achieve a long-term project of potentially winning a good, a, an MLS Cup or even the Open Cup this year. It's definitely a, uh, a positive boost to have at least only one midfielder who's over the age of 30. You can add that experience. But then we've got youth on our side and the players we've got in the midfield have also got time on their side in their careers as well, which is fantastic. And it shows that they're only going to improve and only go upwards instead of maybe looking to decline. So also, the fans should be very excited really about the direction the club's in. Because obviously we're moving into a good time at the moment where we've got plenty of good players coming in. There's plenty of pace. I'll tell you one of the better teams in the division this season as well, in the MLS as well. If you look at the conference, we're in it compared to some of the others. We've got a good chance of doing something good this year. Hopefully maybe winning a good, maybe winning an Open Cup or MLS Cup. But this will be a good sign. Obviously we've also, also signed Cincinnati in goal as well. Who will probably come in to try and rival Tyler Miller. In the in, in goal this season, but I don't think he'll get too too near the number one number one position this season. But you never know if he could he might improve and might end up taking the number one jersey. But I don't think that's looking likely at the moment. We'll just have to wait and see. I think Tyler Miller had a very good breakthrough season last year, and he should retain the number one jersey throughout the rest of the season at least, or starting off the season as well. So plenty to be positive about. And the season starts in a couple of weeks, as as, as we all know. Sporting Kansas City are the opponents, and I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a good game. Hopefully come out and win that game and you want to really try and kick on and try and really progress this season because we've got a good team now. We've acquired some very good players. Obviously players, we've got some good positions now. We've sorted out our defensive issues hopefully and we might see a, a better LAFC this season than the one that got to the playoffs last year. We might see a better team who are just a bit more capable of defending because we, we know we can score a lot of goals but defensively it was a little bit... Uh, a little bit of a problem last season. We let in a lot of goals. We tended to throw away a lot of games as well like the... the LA Galaxy game being 3-0 up and then losing that 4-3 and then also uh, 
um, against uh, San Jose Earthquakes. We won that game 4-3 as well. We let a couple of three goals in that day. And also against Toronto as well, we were winning quite comfortably and almost, almost at that lead slip as well. So we've got to try and learn to shut out games this season. Hopefully we can with the new recruits. But as I said, he definitely adds time with Phil, doesn't he? It's a big, big positive boost for Peter Lee Vassal to come to a good club like uh, LAFC. Arguably the best team in Los Angeles at the moment. I don't think LA Galaxy have got quite got the quality we've got this season. So hopefully we can at least beat them for the first time in our history this season, which would be good after a couple of draws and a loss. So we need to turn that around. But I'm happy with what we've done. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, guys, on the LAFC UK Fan TV channel, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new as well. Try and get as many subscribers as we can throughout the whole of the season. And we'll see you soon. Take care.